Fancy Fred and Cutie George I need a Benzino For he's a jolly fellow For he's a jolly fellow For he's a jolly fellow That we can't deny Can you believe Dave's been here for 30 years? If I even come close to getting my name on a cake like this, I want you to fucking kill me. Hey, guys. Jesus, fuck, Carl. Get off of me. Sorry. My bottom legs have a mind of their own. It's in my fifth segment, above my second anus. You had some cake on your face. Get your fifth segment anus, any other anuses, and your entire centipede thing out of my personal space. Is it anuses? Maybe anuses? Ain't I? I'm a millipede, George. It's microaggressions like this that make for a hostile work environment. Yeah, George, you should know better. Isn't your sister dating a millipede? It says millipedes have two sets of legs per body segment, Carl. You don't. Was she dating that millipede? Felt more transactional than that. Cash-based, even. I know. I lied. Could you imagine? Two legs? Fucking disgusting. And millipedes aren't even venomous. Pussies. You think ducks and swans ever, you know, jump each other's species chasm? Are you guys going out for drinks after this? No. No way. I can't sit in that shitty bar talking about Dave's skin tags and wasting another night of my life. Cause horses and donkeys do it all the time. Like, all the time. What's his problem? Oh, him. He thinks he's wasting his life working here and wants the sweet release that only comes from driving his 2016 Accord into a bridge abutment after someone severs his brake cables. That's, um, specific. Some of us don't even have skin to develop tags. You know, it's microaggressions. Carl, shove it. Up whichever anus you choose. You know, I've had it with this dead-end existence. Tonight, I'm living out one of my dreams before it's too late. I mean, you really just wouldn't believe how big Duck Dong is. Shocking, really. It's like... I've known you since we were kids. I would not have guessed rodeo clown. Race cars, maybe. Eight ball and androgynous hookers. Definitely. Hookers! Later, maybe. Let's do this! Where's the bull? I couldn't get a bull, but the goat has horns. He's fierce. So, this is your goat rodeo. What next? You have to put a rubber band on his balls. Make some ornery. I don't have a rubber band. Just rubber cement. And chloroform. Maybe just give them a squeeze. You want me to squeeze this goat's balls? No! Sweaty little stinkers. This is my bucket list dream, and you're gonna squeeze the goat's balls. Fucking squeeze them! Just a little tug. I squeeze too high. Just slap his ass then! Let's do this! I'm not doing this. Show him that picture of Kirk Cameron. The one from Growing Pains? No. The other one? The one from Left Behind, the movie? No. The sexy one? Oh! Saving Christmas. Fucking do something, George! You're the rodeo clown! You have to bite off the rubber band. Bite it? Why? Why can't I just pull it off? Can't happen. Those testicles are way too swollen. Gonna take teeth. Do it, George. Bite those balls. I brought Kirk, you bite balls. That's fair. That's even. Kirk for balls. I mean, really, really swollen. Uh, moo, I guess? <laughs> you said he'd calm down. Well, we didn't think you'd get so much sack with those wee little squirrel teeth. Like little scalpels. You still have some, you know, stuck. It's like a skin tag in your mouth. I ran out of floss. You could borrow some of mine. Can we all just forget it? No more rodeos. 
No more bulls. No more bucket lists. No more goats breaking into my bedroom later that evening. Just office parties and stale cake. Okay, guys, listen up. We've got a special guest today to talk about acceptable sexual overtures in the office. It's Kirk Cameron from the 2022 movie Life Mock. It made $5.1 million at the box office. Give me the gun. <laughs> 